Hello and thanks for staying with us. The Nigerian Customs Service says good word over its pillion error along the nation's borderline. Also on Customs Report, the contractor of Customs Wife commissioned a transit camp in Apapa. Plus, more report. I am Egesema Idiye. Stay tuned. The country Nigerian of Nigerian Customs Service has continued to preach to members of staffs all over the country to continue to generate more revenue and fight against smuggling along the nation's borderline. The Nigerian Customs Service NCS, led by Comptroller General Bashira Dewali Adini, has announced the seizure of illicit goods worth over 31.2 billion naira at the Onair port in River State. This development has prompted the declaration of state of emergency at the port as the agency intensifies its efforts to combat the rising threat of illegal imports which pose significant risk to national security and public health. On display just behind us are 12 containers of illicit drugs, illicit goods intercepted through a combination of intelligence gathering, the product of interagency collaboration, and meticulous physical examination. The seizures on display include one, a 40-footer container of 4,800 pairs of military stroke paramilitary camouflage, rain boots, and 67,320 pairs of various rubber footwear with a total duty paid value. He said the policy thrust of President Paul Atinobu supports the re-energizing of the business environment in Nigeria to drive faster import clearance and grow capacity for exports. He however stated that it is disheartening that criminal elements in the international supply chain are exploiting the pro-trade stance to commit atrocities bordering on national security breaches. Among the seizures, Showcased were 12 containers packed with military-grade boots, pharmaceuticals, and other illicit goods. Notably, the seized items include 4,800 pairs of military paramilitary camouflage rain boots, over 1.8 million bottles of cough syrup containing codeine, millions of tablets of various controlled substances, including tramadol and tapentadol. The total duty paid value DPV of the intercepted goods was calculated at 31,200,688,142 Naira and 1,400. All these interventions have a duty paid value of a staggering 31,200,688,142 Naira in collaboration with other security agencies, we bring the full weight of the law upon anyone, any company, any entity, whether they are in Nigeria or outside Nigeria, found complicit in this crime against our father. Adeni emphasized that these seizures were the result of meticulous intelligence gathering, interagency collaboration, and thorough inspections conducted by the Area 2 command officers. He also stressed the importance of public cooperation in combating these illegal activities, urging Nigerians to provide any information that could help prevent future breaches. To address the escalating situation, he said the NCS has implemented emerging protocols at Onair port, which include mandatory inspections of all suspect containers over the next three months. This measure, while temporary, is aimed at restoring the port's integrity and ensuring the safety of legitimate trade. The wife of the country Nigeria of Nigerian Customs Service has unveiled COA Transit Camp and Skilled Employment Center in our Park Customs Lagos. She also commissioned the center with the presence of our Park Customs Era Controller alongside the Era Controller's present at the occasion. It was a historic day at the Apapa Area Command as the National President of the Customs Officers' Wives Association, COA, Mrs. Kikelomo Adini, unveiled the COA Transit Camp and Skilled Empowerment Center in a grand and memorable ceremony marking a significant milestone for the organization. The first order of business was the official commissioning 
of COWAS Transit Camp, located at the Enforcement Unit of the Command, which was then followed by the Empowerment Program designed to inspire and equip beneficiaries with valuable skills. COWA Empowerment Program was a success as the lives of 20 women were impacted. Three outstanding business women received 200,000 Naira each to scale up their businesses. Ten talented fashion designers were awarded sewing machines and equipment to launch their ventures. Four skilled makeup artists received full makeup kits to enhance their craft. Women who acquired skills in catering and other areas also benefited from the COA Empowerment Program's support and resources. The generosity extended to widows as well, with Mrs. Adeni providing them with financial support and essential items demonstrating her commitment to inclusivity and care for the vulnerable. In a gesture of appreciation and encouragement, four exceptional and highly committed officers were honored with award plaques recognizing their outstanding contributions and motivating them to strive for even greater excellence. In her speech at the event, Kike Lomo Adeniye highlighted COA's role as a transformative platform for personal development, collective upliftment, and social transformation, emphasizing its commitment to empowering individuals and creating a lasting positive influence in the community. We thank you for your visionary leadership, your guidance, your encouragement, your dedication to our association's goal. It's unparalleled. To the controller of our company, we express our deepest gratitude for your commitment to our association's success. Your leadership and support have been instrumental in our achievements. To the officers of APAPA Command, we appreciate your collaboration, trust, and friendship, your contributions to association's growth and development are invaluable. Together, we have achieved remarkable milestones, and we look forward to continued collaboration and success. Mrs. Adeniyi encouraged the women to play their part as change agents empowering themselves and touching lives around them, saying together they can build stronger families, stronger communities, and a brighter future. Together, we can build stronger families, stronger communities, and a brighter future. Dear COA members, as women behind the men in uniform, we have the power to create a ripple effect of positive change. Let us embrace our roles as change agents, empowering ourselves and those around us. Be the spark that ignites a brighter future for our families, our communities, and our nation. Embrace your uniqueness, celebrate your strengths, and support one another's weaknesses. Together, let us break down barriers challenge the test of school and pave the way for a more inclusive, compassionate, and prosperous society. Remember that the power to create change lies within each of us. Let us unleash our collective potential and make a lasting impact. As we strive to make a positive impact in our communities, I urge you to embrace your role in COA with passion, dedication, and commitment. Our association is a powerful force for good, and together we can achieve extraordinary things. Let us serve COA with all our might, pouring our arts, skills, and experiences into every endeavor. Let us support one another, uplift each other, and celebrate our collective strengths. Remember, our passion is the fuel that drives our success. Let us burn brightly, igniting a fire of positive change that illuminates our families, communities, and nation. With unwavering 
enthusiasm, unrelenting dedication, and unshakable commitment. Let us rise together, shaping a brighter future for ourselves, our children, and generations to come. Let us make a lasting difference together. Be bold, be fearless, and be the change that you wish to see. Today, as we mark a triumphant milestone in our journey as Customs Officers Wives Association, we gather to commission the Apapa Koa Chapter Officers Lodge and launch our skill empowerment project, symbolizing our unwavering commitment to growth, unity, and empowerment. The Lodge represents a sanctuary of hope, a beacon of light in the face of adversity. It embodies our unbreakable spirit and serves as a testament to the power of unity. The Skill Empowerment Project is to unlock our potential, to shatter glass ceilings, and to redefine the boundaries of what is possible. We will equip ourselves with skills, knowledge, and confidence to swear greater acts. As we commission the launch and launch the project, let us embrace our collective strength. Let us celebrate our victories, and let us continue to inspire and uplift one another. May our skill empowerment projects be a catalyst for transformative growth. Together, we are unstoppable. Sister Denny said the Skill Empowerment Project is designed to unlock hidden potentials in women, to shatter glass ceilings, and to redefine the boundaries of what is possible, adding that they will equip themselves with skills, knowledge, and confidence to soar to greater heights. She urged officers present at the occasion to encourage their wives to join the association so as to also experience the transformative power of unity and support. Also speaking, the COWA chairperson, Apapa Command, Mrs. Funsho Olomu, the beautiful wife of Apapa Customs Area Controller, highlighted the outstanding achievements of COWA under the dynamic leadership of Kikelomo Adeniyi. She said the COWA Transit Camp stands as a testament to collective commitment to providing safe, supportive environment for community members. Mrs. Olomu, who extolled the virtues of Kikelomo Adeniyi, applauded her for transformational leadership and motherly love she has shown to women and the less privileged in the country. Under your watch and guidance, we at the Apapa Area Command Chapter of COA have stepped up our activities to achieve robust improvement in all the cardinal programs and objectives of the association. I must use this opportunity to express my profound gratitude and sincere appreciation to the area controller, man, the area controller, management and staff, my ever supportive COA executives in APAPA, and my ever supportive COA national executives, and members of their, and, and other members for their cooperation always. They are part of the success story today. However, as we celebrate this, the empowerment of our trained skilled members and the distribution of relief items to our widows, let us remember that our efforts are reflections of our dedication to justice, dignity, and compassion. Furthermore, 20 members are empowered as follows. Three of them with outstanding business success stories are empowered with a sum of 200,000 Naira each. Ten of them who, are, who have excelled in their training as fashion design are hereby given one sewing machine and one pressing iron each. Four of them also are given one gas cooker and other necessary cooking utensils. Additionally, three of them who have trained as professional makeup artists are given one set of makeup kits, ring lights, and other equipment for their makeup. Also speaking at the event, the Apapa Area Controller, Babatunde Ulumu, said COA, as a rebranded organization, 
has placed Nigeria Customs Service in the map of government agencies where care for one another is paramount. He stated that the COA president's mark of excellence on many fronts is indelible as the association wiped out tears from many downtrodden and lifted the morale of women and children who are daily being touched by her acts of kindness and selflessness. We are all witnesses and beneficiaries of the Controller General of Customs Work Life Balance Initiative. That's CGC, Bashir, Adewale Adeniyi, MFR, DSM, PSC Daga. The Work Life Initiative seeks to promote the well-being of officers and many laudable initiatives championed by the national president of COA to integrate our, mem our families into our plan for comfort, security, and welfare. Let me use this medium to express a very profound appreciation to the COA national president, Mrs. Adeniyi, for the unprecedented leadership role that has seen our wives mobilized nationwide into very great courses like support for widows of fallen heroes from the service, skill acquisition for entrepreneurship, promotion of moral values, and upholding the deserving sense of belonging amongst us. We truly see COA as a rebranded organization that has placed the Nigerian Customs Service in the map of government organizations where care for one another is very paramount. The event, which had a seasoned entrepreneur and financial expert invited to share valuable insights, was a resounding success, featuring a well-structured program that empowered women with entrepreneurial skills. You are watching the program, Customs Support. The Nigerian Customs Service Oyo Anoshu Command has recorded great seizure in its anti smuggling drive this year. The Customs Area Controller during a trade section, which generally says the command sees contraband worth over 148 million naira. Between June 14th and August 29th this year, the command accepted various contraband goods, including cannabis wrapped in sachets. He also handed over the cannabis to NDLA officials in Oyo State. But in spite of the that, our officers and men are able to effect these seizures. So I want to thank them for what they have done. We have tried, especially in the area of cannabis. I've always told you that I have a zero tolerance for hard drugs because of the effects it has in our society. According to UNO, three out of, three out of ten are addicted to drugs. Yes. 14.4, between the ages of 15 and 65, are addicted to drugs. NDLA says 40% between the ages of 15 and 35 are addicted to drugs. So when you make an analysis, analysis you discover that the productive power of our economy is being destroyed. Those people will think they are going to be leaders of tomorrow. They are addicted to drop. Even as we are sitting here, some of our children are addicted to drop. Whether you like it or not. If you go to the universities, that's what they do. So it is our moral responsibility to make sure that in our you or should we control the influx. Impossible to eradicate it. So the command will continue to adopt new measures to fight smugglers along the nation's borderline. He emphasized that new measures are crucial in tackling the tactics of smuggling and servicing the economic stability of the country. Nigeria is the highest producer of rice in Africa, followed by Egypt and Tanzania, producing 8,435,000,000 metric tons of rice every year. And in Nigeria, yeah, the highest state of is Kedi, producing 2.05 million uh, uh, metric tons of rice. But people are not, are not, are not patronizing them much because of the influence of foreign rights. Our industries cannot produce. They cannot produce the capacity. 
because demand is low. So federal government decided to ban this rice, especially from the borders, so that these local industries can expand, can produce, and employ people. And when you apply people, the economy will expand. When the economy expands, everybody will be happy. There will be less tension. According to him, the new NLC Act of 2023 will further enhance revenue generation of the service. The Nigerian Customs Service Federal Operation in Zone A has arrested 14 suspects and other smugglers of dunking skill contraband items worth over $8 billion. The controller, brief journalist in Lagos, says his men are still looking for more suspects now on the run. He warned that smugglers of dunking skin should stop killing of donkeys, which is not allowed by international law. A woman custom officer attached to Federal Operation Zone A has refused bribe worth billions of naira for smugglers. She intercepted the truck loaded with donkey skin meant for export outside the country. Your effort will not go unnoticed. Please walk. It's not easy to see Tamadon now. It's not easy. So if they offer bribe to somebody and say, I don't want, you not be. It will not be out of place to appreciate such persons. Second night time, she will bring hardwood. She brought it. They were about to go out. And it's not up to three months on that seat. She brought it. The breakdown procedures include cannabis, cartons of poultry products, 15 units of imported vehicles, and also intercepted 257 bills of used clothing and tomatoes tablets. Increased figure in line with directives of the Contra General of Customs, Bashir Adewali Adini, MFR, DSM, FNIPR, PSC Daga. I can boldly say that the smugglers' desperation is being confronted with our resistance, causing us to seize their wares and arrest the suspects. On this, we shall remain unrelenting and uncompromising. For emphasis, this act of smuggling undermine our national security, economic development, and social well-being of all citizens. We are not unaware of smugglers' antics to evade duty payments and sometimes attempt to circumvent the law by bringing items that fall under import and export prohibition. But these daredevil criminals are still engaging in it. So if we are telling you we succeeded to intercept 6,000 plus, you should know 6,000 donkeys have gone in Nigeria. So maybe our children may not know what is, how does donkey skin look like, life. It's only the picture they will be seen later. But we shall continue to try our best and uh, I will showcase you the donkey skin later. Two, we have 37,630 sachets of tramadol of 250 milligrams. You are used to it now. <laughs> you see, the unique thing about this tramadol is this is their new style. When they bring it in bulk, they will now break it into smaller vehicles, cars, Siena, so that you will not suspect it. That's their mode of distribution now. But we are getting them. They will distribute it, Lagos, North, I mean, Potako, all over Nigeria. So don't be surprised when you see custom stopping Siena, Siena. Why are they stopping this small car now? He's going to Lego. Look, look at what he carried. Malayo. Because with intelligence, we know he's hiding something. And behold, that's how we got this particular one. I will show you. 250 milligrams. 
and this this is money and these are the causes of the the container edge importers are free for others to continue to work towards a better nigeria just before we round up this week edition of the program custom support we brought you a report where a lady of nigerian custom service refused to collect bribe from the smugglers of donkey skin worth over six billion naira at the port for me, Igisemi Thanks for watching.